In this programming example, we will make a profile pocket and apply a grid pattern to make multiples from the original. From our example part print, you will see that we have four profile pocket shapes. We will start by programming the profile pocket in the upper left corner and then apply a grid pattern command to make the remainder of the pockets. Our tool for this operation is a 1 quarter inch diameter end mill. From our main menu, press T followed by 3 and press cycle start. The axis should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete, press cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. From the main menu, select profile pocket key. Using the level key, confirm you are on level 1. Enter a profile number, 999, and press the recall key. Press the edit key. Select profile. On the right hand side of the screen is where we can enter the information from our drawing. Our initial starting point on X is 1. Press enter to continue. Our initial starting point on Y is minus 1. Press enter to continue. Now press F7 to validate the information. You will now see that we have a starting point to our profile. We now must select our next step, straight line. Our ending point on X is 1.5, press enter to continue. Our ending point on Y is minus two, press enter to continue. Press F7 to validate the information. Select straight line again. Our ending point on X axis is two, press enter to continue. Our ending point on Y is minus one, press enter to continue. Press F7 to validate the information. The CNC will automatically calculate our angles for us. Our final operation is a straight line again. Our ending point on X is one. Press enter to continue. Our ending point on Y is minus one. Press enter to continue. Press F7 to validate the information. The CNC will again automatically calculate our angles for us. We are now done with this profile. Let's save it. Press save and continue. Press escape twice. Press finish. Enter a comment for the profile. This can be a job number or it can be left blank. Press enter to continue. We now have to define the rest of our cycle. Press enter. X is the starting coordinate along the X axis. In our case, we will be starting at 1.5. Press enter to continue. Y is the starting coordinate along the y-axis. In our case, we'll be starting at minus 1.5. Press enter to continue. ZS. This is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Press enter to continue. Z. This is your starting point on Z-axis. In this example, we'll be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it is 0.25. Press enter to continue. I, this is the depth of cut per pass. In this example, we'll be using a value of 0.125, meaning it will only take two passes to get to its final depth. Press enter to continue. FZ, this is the penetrating feed rate. This value is entered in inches per minute. In this example, we'll be using a value of five. Press enter to continue. Using the half key to select if you want coolant off or on during the machining process, press enter to continue. F, this is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of five inches per minute. Press enter to continue. S, this is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 2000 RPMs. Press enter to continue. Using the half key, select if you want the spindle to turn clockwise or counterclockwise. For this example, we will select clockwise. Press enter to continue. T is your tool number. In this example, we are using tool three. Press enter to continue. D is your tool offset number. In this example, we are using offset three. Press enter to continue. This is your sideways penetrating angle. In this example, we are using a center cutting end mill and we'll be penetrating into the center of our profile pocket at a 90 degree angle. Press enter to continue. Note, when using a non-center cutting end mill, you will want to select a suitable ramp angle. Example, five degrees. This is your step over field. 
In this example, we will be using a value of 0.125. Press Enter to continue. We will not be doing a finish pass, so please confirm that our finish tool is set to zero under the finish section. Now combine the operation with grid pattern position. Press the grid pattern key. The cycle takes our X1 and Y1 from our previous cycle. Use the half key, select operation one of three, LX. This is the center distance from your first pocket on X axis to your last pocket on X axis. In this example, it is three. Press enter to continue. LY. This is the center distance from your first pocket on Y axis to your last pocket on Y axis. In this operation, it is minus three. Press enter to continue. NX. This is your total number of pockets along the x-axis. This operation requires two pockets. Press enter to continue. And y. This is your total number of pockets along the y-axis. This operation requires two pockets. Press enter to continue. The value in this field must be entered in degrees. A value is entered into this field when you are machining apart on an inclination angle. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. This is the angle between the sides. In this example, we are using a value of 90 degrees. Press enter to continue. Our feeds and speeds are taken from the profile pocket we have defined earlier. Let's confirm the cycle in 3D graphics so we can check for errors. Select the graphics icon key. Select type of graphics. Select 3D graphics. If necessary, press clear screen to remove any unwanted graphics currently on the screen. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. The process should complete with no errors. You are now ready to save or execute the cycle. Note, if the graphics are too small, press display area and select optimum area. The CNC will then automatically adjust the best graphic view. To execute the cycle, press escape three times. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. This concludes the profile pocket with grid pattern example. Please feel free to rewind, pause, and review any parts of this video to improve your knowledge of the 8055i MC CNC control.